Like I've said previously, the problem with sequels is that you need to have seen the previous seasons in order to properly enjoy the new ones, for the most part anyway. And while I can see the argument being made for this show in particular, considering the majority of its cast is brand new, there are still enough nods to previous seasons and appearances by old characters wherein I would still say that, yeah, you need to see the stuff that came before it. Heck, I even reviewed the first season of Genshiken, which you can find up there somewhere. And with that said, ladies, gentlemen, and others, my name is Arkada, and today on First Reaction, we are looking at the third season of the wonderful Genshiken anime. Let's jam. As previously mentioned, a large majority of the cast for the season is brand new, which is both refreshing, but originally perplexing. One of the main features of the original Genshiken season was that it was an inner look into the otaku world, which is populated in large part by males. Females were represented, of course, but largely the entire cast was male, and that's how the show worked. But what got me intrigued and also slightly worried is that now over 90% of the cast is female. Now, I have nothing against female characters, held Check out the wall behind me. But a complete gender reversal for a show like Genshiken? I will admit I was a little worried. Granted, most of that worry is because I have not rewatched the show in a long time, and I happen to forget one of Genshiken's major themes. And that is, of course, tolerance. As such, most of my fears seem to be for naught. The show is the same as ever, even with the new cast, and that's really a relief. Now, backtracking for a moment to explain something that I found confusing. Some of us know this season to be Genshiken 3, or the third season of Genshiken, because it is. Genshiken has had two previous seasons, and also an OVA that went in between them. And there's also Kujibiki on balance, but that's a whole different thing. Now, however, there are some places on the internet that are making this a lot more confusing by calling this Genshiken's second season. Which it's not. Now, I could be completely wrong with this, but in the past we have had third seasons of animes that are titled in ways to make it seem like the second season. Does Full Metal Panic ring any bells? <laughs> but personally, I think this is just a mistake of some people on the internet who don't actually know any better. And hopefully that's the problem. Because you see, when I looked up the translation of the title, it actually comes up to be Genshiken Second which I think refers to this being the second generation of Genshiken. Because, you know, the whole cast is virtually new. Some of the old guys make appearances, yes, but for all intents and purposes, it's a brand new Genshiken, and it's the second generation, not second season. Because the second season already exists. It's officially called Genshiken 2. So that's there, and that's a pretty good show in its own right, actually. Plot-wise, there's not much to tell without getting into spoiler details that are better left saved for those who are wanting to enjoy it. Not that it has much of a plot to begin with, but whatever. If you like the earlier seasons of Genshiken, then you will like this one, and you really should watch everything else before getting to this season anyways. And yes, I know everybody wants me to talk about the trap, but there's nothing much to tell that you couldn't just watch the show to understand. She exists, and she is so far actually a great character, and I am also looking forward to seeing what they plan on doing with her. New and interesting characters are always fun to see. Obviously, I'm going to be continuing to watch this show because I've been a fan of the original since God knows when. And the original Genshin again is one of the few series that I don't mind rewatching multiple times because I just enjoy watching it. Both of the original seasons as well as the OVA have been licensed by Media Blasters and are available on DVD if you happen to go out and watch them, which I suggest you should because there are actually very good shows that look into other aspects of this culture we like to live in. And of course, this specific season of Genshin Again is also available over on Crunchyroll, and you can click on the link down below, or the one that I will have listed right here, for a free trial of Crunchyroll's premium services so that you can experience all the anime awesomeness that it contains. Post in the comments what you guys thought of Genshin Again 3, but remember, if you're from the future, no spoilers, please. And until next time, ladies, gentlemen, and others, stay frosty.